now. Hello, Joshua Perry. How are you today? I am doing well. How are you? I'm very well. Hey, I'm super excited because next week you and I are going to get together with many of our closest friends, and I hope, um, to talk about social justice and sports in our very special series that we're doing with Sports and Society. This is something that you and I have been planning um, for several months, and I'm, I was hoping you could share with people why you think this is such an important topic to talk about now. Well, I, I think we kind of saw it this last year in 2020, um, the intersection of social justice and sports. And it's not something that's new. You know, we've seen it with athletes in the past. Um, you know, I, I listened to my dad, who's 66 this year, talk about, you know, the, the impact of uh, Jim Brown and Muhammad Ali and some of these athletes and using their voice um, during times of social change. And that's something that we saw. And I, I think it's really important to um, tap into the resources that we have access to. Uh, to have a real life conversation with some of the people who have firsthand familiarity um, with what's going on in the world and how they're able to use their platforms, their voices as athletes and the privileges that are afforded to athletes in this society, especially when a lot of them have, um, maybe their voices maybe carry a little bit more weight than politicians even, um, to be able to use that. And I think we've put together an extraordinary program that really offers us that insight um, not only into uh, the tactics that athletes are using, what it means uh, to use their voice, the intersectionality that athletes experience, but also the way forward in this era to make sure that we're continuing to spark the change that we're seeking. You know, we called this the intersectionality of change, um, I think in part because we want people to see that intersection, but we want them to take more out of it. We want them to actually be able to do something. What do you hope that people get out of it? If they, if they stay with us for all four of these sessions, what do you hope they leave with? Well, I think it's important to stay for all four because uh, it's a, um, a series that really builds. And um, what I hope that folks would get out of it first off is an insight to um, into what it's really like being boots on the ground in this movement. Uh, for a lot of these athletes who, uh, many of them, regardless of if we're talking about race, gender, if we're talking about sexuality or any of these other intersections, um, really how they put their neck out there. And then a lot of times they, they take on a ton of risk. Um, so that would be number one, but number two also how to join. And what I really mean by that is how are we able to allow people to have these conversations within their own circles? And uh, when I was doing the um, tailgate show on Big Ten Network this year, we did a segment every week on social justice. And one of the, the big points of emphasis for me for our viewership was who can take that conversation to their small town in Iowa and have that with people who maybe wouldn't be open to having those conversations. And I think that's where the real change comes. And uh, there are going to be aspects of this program that will equip people to do that. Specifically, um, when we get to the narrative writing aspect, it's, it's a perfect time for folks to, to create their narratives so they can be in control, but also to share it with people who maybe haven't had access to the conversation before. I think that's the big picture with this. Absolutely. Joshua Perry, I am so looking forward. February 25th, we're going to be meeting for Understanding the Intersectionality of Change, the first in our four-part series, looking at the intersectionality of change and how we can be change agents moving forward. I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you.